everybody? Welcome to the Dope and Damage podcast, the platform where almost everybody has a voice. <laughs> and we I, talk about almost, almost everything. everything. <laughs> I'm Ness. And I'm Hinoa, aka Henny. What's up, everybody? How are you? Wow, we did it. We finally did it. <laughs> like, guys, this took us like five times now. <laughs> Today is crazy, right? It's just, yeah. It's crazy. It was never meant to be, but we're... We're pushing we're fighting, through. Exactly. exactly. We're, we're fighting. Fighters, we're fighting. So, so, so anyway, what are we talking about today? Um, Today we're talking about whether soulmates are a real thing. Is there such a thing as a soulmate? Okay, so let's start with defining soulmate. What is a soulmate? Well... If I had to define it, then you'd already know my answer to the entire discussion. Yeah, but I think people, like, okay, let me ask this differently then. Mm -hmm. Is a soulmate only a person that you can be in a relationship with, or can a friend be a soulmate? Well, I think if such a thing existed, which I don't. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, bye. <laughs> that was it. No. That was I'm so <laughs> fucked today to know. That's we it. gonna discuss this. <laughs> no, like if, if such a thing existed. Okay, let, let me put it like this, right? Do I believe in soulmates? No, I do not. Um, I believe in kindred spirits, though. Exactly. Right? Like kindred spirits. Is that even the word? Is that how you pronounce it? Whatever. Okay, basically, there's just people who get you without you having to talk a lot. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like without you having to explain why you're doing what you're doing or why you're upset or why you're happy or whatever. They just get you. So I do think, I mean, there's 7 billion people on the planet. There's, somebody's bound to understand you. You know what I mean? But in terms of soulmate, I think that's bullshit. I don't believe in But soulmate. what if that's, what if soulmate is a different word for the kindred spirit that you just mentioned? Um, but I think that soulmate implies that it doesn't happen too often. And I think that kindred spirits, they do happen often. See, this is, I think, this is my point. If there is a thing like soulmate, I think there is not just one. I don't believe in like just the one and only soulmate for you. Well, no, because if that was the case, you know, people... Like, just, you can spend 20 years with somebody and then, you know, separate and find somebody else or, you know, people die and they find new spouses. Doesn't mean that they didn't love the first spouse. Doesn't mean that they weren't genuine with the first one. I think but every love is different. I don't know if every love is the same. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think, like, when you love, when you're in love or when you love for the first time, Everything comes after that is not never gonna be the same because the first time is so innocent, it's so different, and when you're like heartbroken for the first time, yeah, it's just like differently from a heart, from a second heartbreak. It's not. It's kind of like because not that you're used to it, but you kind of like know a little bit what to expect. I disagree, actually. I feel like nice. um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just like okay, I guess. Um, I agree to an extent though. It's okay. like, okay, when, when it's your second heartbreak, you're more like, okay, I know I'm gonna be okay exactly. at some point. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know what I mean? But you still go through it. Of course, you, you do. Know? Of course, you do. You're sad and you're everything. But yeah. I'm saying, you know, like from the first heartbreak, you just think the world is over yeah. because people, like, most of the time, not all the time, but people, most of the, most of the time, people who experience their first heartbreak are still pretty young. Yeah. So when you go through, you really think the world is over, you're never going to meet anyone again. Yeah. And I know people <laughs> 20 years later, they still think they're never going to meet anyone again, but that's wow. a different you story. You mean? <laughs> Anyway, but um, that's why I believe there is not just one soulmate, and I believe like you can be friends with someone and not necessarily be in a relationship with them, and they can be your soulmate. Listen, you know I don't believe in soulmates, right? People are so quick to be like, "Oh my God, that's my soulmate." Listen, yeah, if you're if you were born in 1991, if you if your parents are Ghanaian and you were born and raised in Germany and you happen to be male and you happen to be in your end twenties and you happen to have gone to college holler at her no 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 no. don't holler at me (laughs) I mean you can if you want to but I mean no that's not the point I'm trying to make I'm trying to say that you would have the same socioeconomic background as I do so we're bound to get along it's not you know it's nothing mythical 
or no, but you know nah, but hold on. spiritual like oh my god what's wrong with no we have the same social economic background we have the same parents we're both migrant children we, we both went to college we both know what it's like to be german but to not be german at the same time we both know what it's like to be Ghanaian, but to not be Ghanaian at the same time it has nothing to do with some soulmate ish yeah, but here's the thing. So this is where I kind of agree and kind of disagree. <laughs> because we have that or not today, don't we? I love it. <laughs> That's what makes this whole right. worth it. Um, then that means I will get along with every single Moroccan person that was born at the same time and has the same kind of like upbringing that you just explain about yourself and a Ghanaian person. That means we will get along with all of these people and honestly, I'm, I don't get along with most of them. So... I believe just because you have a similar background, you have you can have different character traits and personalities. You can have certain things in common, but you're not gonna get along with everyone. That would be great if that was the case. I'll be friends yes, with so many people. True, but you know what? I'm just saying like it's not a surprise if you get along. It shouldn't oh be like, God. oh my god, that's my soulmate. Well, you both have the same damn background. What did you expect? Like, did you really expect not to get along with this person? Obviously, you're right. Yes. People have different character <laughs> traits. And I agree with that. You know, it's not everybody who's also, you know, whose parents are also, you know, migrants or Ghanaian or whatever that I get along with. But, like, in most cases, we understand each other. Like, I have friends who have the same background as me and we get along and we understand each other because we've been through the same things. That, yes, but there is, there th that I could definitely understand. You can relate to them and they relate to you, but I, 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 I wish it was that, like where I can get along with every person that has the similar upbringing or whatever. But the thing is, so what if somebody is actually a romantic person and that's why they say people are their soulmate of God, I want You know what I think actually, no, you know what I think? I think that when you find the one, okay, um, like the one person that you want to spend the rest of your life with, it's going to feel that way. You're going to think, oh my God, that's my soulmate. But just because you think that doesn't make it true. Yeah, but you know, you know, I know some people, every time they meet someone, they're like, okay, that's the one. That's the one I can feel it. Yeah. I know this is the one. I promise this time is real. Well, did they uh, type their name on them so they know it's real? Uh, <laughs> that's what some people do, and then they have like 25 other partners oh, after. This is crazy. Yeah, but I mean, I just, it's just, okay, let me put it this way. Yeah, let me ask you something. Hmm. What is it about fellow uh, Moroccans who grew up in Germany, who were born and raised here, like you, yeah, that differentiates them from you? Like, what is it? Can we make a whole podcast about this? Because I don't know. Wow. Well, just traits. the key. Like, Character traits. Key facts. You know? like, like, for example, I tend not to get along with most Moroccans. And I'm not. So don't come, don't come for me. Oh, and if you come to me, I don't care. I'm just speaking my mind. Um, most Moroccan, not everyone. I feel like they're very envious and jealous of people. Oh. They're not well-wishing people. They are very driven by mm, hate. Like, if you have something good for you going on, they kind of like be hating on you on the low. Because in your face, they be smiling. They want to be your friend because they want part of the cake, you know. A uh, piece of the cake. But isn't that, isn't yeah. that everybody doing the same thing? Yeah, like, just... that can be, but I still don't like it. I feel like, and especially in, in, in especially Morocco, there is a lot of people who claim to be so religious and then they do everything that I just said, which is so not religious, you know, to be jealous on people, to um, hate on people for whatever they have, to never wish well on anyone, you know, just because you don't have it. Um, this is for me not religious, but you claim to be so, you know, in tune with your God and everything. But girl, like, listen, not... yeah, the stories I could tell you that happen in some of these African churches. Like, I'm just saying, like, I feel like you have that everywhere, but to me, that's, yes. 
I don't. But I don't like these kind of people. I don't want no sneaky people around me. I'm well, not gonna true. be friends with you just because you're from the si similar upbringing, from the same country. Just because we can crack a joke or two. Just because we like the same things. I'm not gonna be your friend if you're gonna talk behind my back. If you're gonna do everything to like keep me down. If you're gonna get in my way, you know, like me trying to actually um, get somewhere. No, I don't need you. I don't need you as a friend. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not friends with everybody who has the same upbringing as me. However, I'm just saying that I'm bound to get along with them more than I'm maybe bound to get along with a man who grew up okay, in man. Uzbekistan in 1975 <laughs> or something. Like, you know what I mean? And I've noticed no. that every time that I usually don't get, around, uh, don't get along with people who have the same background as me is because they may not have been as exposed to me to other cultures, you know, to different cultures. That's like that's just, Yeah, that's something that I've really, really noticed. The one thing that I cannot stand is ignorance. Don't say that something is like nasty just because you've never tried it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So God from Uzbekistan is not nasty. No, I don't, I don't know anybody from And if he was born in 1935? But anyway, I don't know anybody from Uzbek because that was just an example, you know, but the whole point is like there are just certain things that I can't stand and then, you know, ignorance, I can't stand ignorance yeah. from Germans either Absolutely. or Americans, or any, yeah, any European, so it's, it, yeah. it doesn't really come down to, you know, if that person is Ghanaian or not, it's just something that I don't like in general, but I'm just saying when talking about soulmates, there's no such thing. There's just people who get along because they have the same experiences and they identify with each other. Like, it's like looking into a mirror and you're like, oh my God, this person gets me. Yeah, but <clears throat> I feel a soulmate is not just like looking into a mirror, like mm -hmm, a soulmate for, like, for someone to be a soulmate, again, if that exists is more someone who you don't have to tell them that you're not okay you don't have to explain yourself that what you're going through you know mm -hmm. and if you do they get it without you even finishing you know mm -hmm. like they can look at you or just not, you know you know like not even look at you they just get your energy and there's a lot of people who can do that that's why i don't believe in that one and only soulmate okay so you don't believe in one soulmate you think there are multiple soulmates for one person. Yeah, that's that's too polygamy here. <laughs> no. Oh wow! <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So Nas. No, what is it? Po po polyamory or whatever they call it now, right? The I, I don't even them. know because I don't really get down like that. <laughs> but so apparently Nas does. <laughs> Rumors of the month. Yes. Okay. No, joke, okay. Joke, joke. Of course, yes, about that. No, girl, I can't do No, girl, go ahead. It's so too you. late, right? <laughs> too late. Oh my lord. I'm not no. sorry. Okay. Maybe we should talk about that. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I'm we'll gonna... talk about that. I'll bring all my five husbands here. Girl, <laughs> that don't exist, goals, by the way. Goals. No. Twenty two person. You know. No jokes. No. Wow. Jokes aside. Um. Yeah, I think uh, that's why I say I think even well, your, your best friend, that's a different story. If that even exists, a best friend, um, I think your friends can be your soulmates. Sometimes mm -hmm. even somebody, somebody who gets along with their mom or their sister or whatever, their brother, so they can be soulmates. Yeah, I guess. Um, I guess in a sense you're right. Like I, I understand what you're saying, but it's like this whole concept of soulmate I also think it has people a little jacked up because everybody thinks that oh, a lot of people especially women think that they need to sit around and wait for their soulmate to come knocking on their door you'll be waiting forever you're the one who's saying that soulmates exist <laughs> no, I mean, if if, no okay yeah, you see you see what we do because I'm speaking generally you're talking about a relationship when it's about a relationship like me looking for a soulmate to be with that doesn't exist for me that I, I agree with you 100% okay. but I'm just like speaking generally speaking like you can have a very close friendship with someone and that person can be your soulmate that doesn't mean that you have to be with them yeah I'm, I'm, I prefer that more than this whole, because that, that's what I said, it's just a romantic thought, this whole soulmate thing, same way like everybody's watching too much Hollywood movies, you know, these yeah. chick, chick flicks and love stories and whatnot, and it's just for me, yeah, you believe that, you wait, nothing's gonna happen. Okay, so do you have a soulmate? No. 
Actually, I do. You do? Yeah. Okay, so... Myself. Oh, uh, well, self-love is important. <laughs> exactly that. That's what we practice these, <laughs> these days. Self-love is So, yeah, important. everybody should be their own soulmate. I mean, true, but you just said that, you know, you believe that there can be multiple soulmates. So the question that I had was, do you uh, have a no, soulmate no. or several? No. You know what's so interesting, though, that now that you mention it and, you know, the whole thing about soulmates, you know, could be your mom's or your best exactly. friend or whatever. I think the closest thing that I'd have to something like that would be my brothers. Let my brothers get me. But like they get you, or do you have like a like a friend friendship with them as well? Yeah. So friendship. you hang with them and everything. exactly we hang out <laughs> like friends. We actually hang out like friends. We talk about things like we you know watch movies together. We watch That's anime cool. together. Are like, you the oldest? No, I'm I'm the third born. I have two older brothers and a younger one. So yeah, I'm completely circled in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could tell. Yeah. So, but like I think you know, my like my brothers, like I do anything for them, and vice versa. I hope. They, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, but see, that's that's the thing. And then going back to what you said, self love. I think if more people was to take that statement really serious, that mm -hmm. you should be your own soulmate for, for, first of all, before you be anybody else's soulmate, is very important because you have to check on yourself if you're okay. You have to be real with yourself, and if you're not okay, just you know, yeah. uh, tell yourself you're not okay, or tell yourself what you need, yeah. and tell yourself, um, don't allow yourself to be in situations that you don't like and this is what a soulmate is there for you know to also kind of like protect you and i feel like if you're your own soulmate you have to start with yourself that's true and i wholeheartedly agree and i think that that's something people don't really do enough no. you know and i i, I get it because it's easy to get caught up when Absolutely. you're in a relationship or something and you're trying to make sure that this person is okay at all times and then Absolutely. you know it usually happens when the relationship ends and you're like Reflecting. Yeah, and you're reflecting. You're like, what the heck? Like, I, I completely, you know, disregarded my own well-being. Yeah. Just trying to make sure that this other person is okay. Yeah. So I think it's it's a learning process. You know, at the end of the day, it's a learning process. But people do that again and again and again. Like, let's say you did that in your last relationship, mm -hmm. and you reflect on the relationship and think back and realize so many things were wrong because. I did something wrong and not actually the other person I allowed the other person to go these this far yeah. you know yeah this is where people do it again in the second relationship third relationship and that's why because they don't feel to reflect on themselves from time to time you don't reflect only at the end of a relationship you have to reflect regularly yeah you know yeah. it's nothing wrong with sitting sitting there uh, sitting down and um and think like really like reflecting on the day how was my day what did i do because i always say like today i'm working on being a better person than i was yesterday mm -hmm. and this is very important yeah i agree but you know to be fair um when you realize that you made a mistake in a past relationship right and you're in a, new, in a new like there's no other way to learn than when you're already in that new relationship i think you know what i mean like you don't learn how to drive a car by sitting at home no you don't but th but that's 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 what i mean like you you think of about everything and you and you say you understand and you comprehend and everything then you get into your new relationship and then you throw everything everything over um, over the uh, overboard you know like you forget yeah. about everything that you promised yourself or told yourself or learned from your prior relationship and prior situation and now you're doing the same damn thing again but i think that's what happens when people are desperate i think that's what happens when people um just choose to ignore red flags you know what i mean that's it i think somebody who's not at odds with themselves like they're not gonna they're not pressed to be back in a relationship and ignore mm -hmm. everything that's actually wrong with the situation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think, yeah, I think that applies for people who are quite... Well, it's one of the topics that I wanted to talk about as well on a, on a, on a podcast is boundaries, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Because boundaries is very important. A lot of people don't have boundaries and some people have too many. That's true. That's actually true. But then again, 
how do you okay maybe we should do that yeah. <laughs> maybe we should do that before yeah, we get into another topic yeah so yeah so the, the soulmate situation but so is there anything that could change your mind if i met one mm. if i met a soulmate if i no, met somebody if I met a guy and then he was really like getting you way more than let's say anyone ever did he was getting me what? Like he he gets you way better. Oh, like he gets more. you way he gets better. You, yeah. Yeah. In that case, maybe then I'd be like, oh my god, that's my soulmate. <laughs> but then again, I'd be like, I probably only feel that way, <laughs> and it's not real. <laughs> but you know, you never know. Maybe no. you know, you know, when you say things like that, absolutely, the universe, fate, God, whatever you want to call it, has a way of humbling you. Actually, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Do you believe in karma? Because when you said the guy from Uzbekistan, and I'm not really exposed, like, oh my god, hopefully this karma is not gonna come around this way. Like, the next week, he's gonna, yeah, my new boyfriend, he's from Uzbekistan, he was born in 1960. Yeah, oh my gosh, I mean, I don't know what the future holds, but as of right now, I don't don't believe in soulmates. I mean, obviously, somebody could come change my mind, but I don't really see that happening. So anyway, what you're saying, there's no soulmates? I'm not convinced, to be quite honest. <laughs> I'm not convinced. That one and only soulmate doesn't exist, I guess. I mean, we'll see. For us. Maybe life will humble me or us. We'll see. Oh my gosh, yeah. No. Yeah. I hope so. I, I like surprises. Me too, but it depends on what, which ones. No, 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 I shouldn't say it. I don't like surprises. Keep your surprises. I, I love them. surprises. Universe, keep your surprises. <laughs> anyway. Okay. What? Thank you, though. Thank you for tuning in and staying with us this week, right? And thank you very much. Make sure to do the usual. Get in touch with us. Exactly. Comment, like, share. You know, let us know what you think. Exactly. Subscribe. And we'll see you guys next week. Peace.